All right, we're zooming. I'm looking out here. I see Dorian Hale. Uh, how, how have you been? I haven't talked to you in about two months. Yeah, you know, I've been good. Uh, football, you know, has been has started up since then, since last time we talked. School's over now. It's summer. Uh, I've just been, you know, working out the team as much as we can and getting our workouts in. And, all, and also not getting a haircut. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've gotten, like, one haircut since this quarantine. So no, but, but, it's kind of rough. No, but I think if there was, you, would, you wouldn't get a haircut anyway, I don't think. Maybe? No, yeah, probably, yeah, no. I mean, I just got the size. That's it. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So for you, it's business as usual. You will talk yeah. about Della Sal, but uh, you've got some offers. Uh, tell people about who's uh, contacted you. Yeah, so I have a couple offers right now. I have um, Sac State, uh, Valpo University, uh, Northern Arizona University, um, William and Mary, and Cal Poly, and that's it. Well, that's it. That's five. That's that's yeah. you have a lot of choices. And or is yeah. that for for quarterback? Yep, all for quarterback. Yep. Wow, that would be fantastic to play quarterback in college. And so, and, and, and no matter uh, you know, if there's a high school season or not, you, you, the, these offers will be will be good. Yes. Yeah. So whether we have a high school season or not, you know, I've been trying to focus in and you know trying to pick and choose where I want to you know end up in play for the next three or four years sure and uh, yeah. of those schools have you have you been yet on any of those campuses or uh, has it all been through the internet uh most of them have been just through the internet i've been i've been on campus with sac state um but that's about it i don't think i haven't been to any of the any other colleges that have offered me. right no, there, there's like uh four or five de Salle guys at northern arizona yeah there is there's jossie you know ingram uh, yeah, Sweeney was just there. You know, he no, just graduated. No, but. no, no, he graduated, but he's still there. Yeah. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, because of eligibility. But, but yeah. if you go to Northern yeah. Arizona, he might still be there. Sweeney has, like, unlimited eligibility. Uh, <laughs> I think – Yeah, I, exactly. I, I think – does it go back and – was he uh, was he coming back and help uh, – or was that a year after? He helped some of the freshmen about three or four years ago. Was that you or was that someone else? No, I think that was – that might have been the year before me, maybe. You know what? Yes, it was the guy yeah. that, that just graduated, uh, your backup. Uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, Sam, Sam Odell. Sam Odell. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. and then what about uh, William & Mary? That's, I think, in, in Virginia. How did they find you? Yeah, that's in Virginia. Yeah, that's my uh, – honestly, it was through Coach Kenny, and Coach Kenny had a, a good connection with uh, Coach Marion down there. He's not there anymore, but uh, he's at Hawaii University now, but – um, he contacted, he was con in contact with them asking about me. And then I had got on the phone with one of the, with the coach and he landed me my first offer. So it was, it was cool. Well, that's it. Uh, stick with Nate. Yeah. He knows everybody. No, he does. He has, he has a lot of great connections and he's a lot of, he's a good right. coach. Too. And here's some trivia. When you talk to him, I'm pretty sure after Harvard, William and Mary is like the second oldest college in the United yeah. States. See? Yeah. They have, they have a great history, you know, back from, you know what I mean, just all their, you know, just, you know, like you said, from Sanford, it's crazy. Yeah, a long time. And then, yeah, uh, but for you, uh, right now, is, uh, what's going on at Del Salle? Is it it's socially distanced, practicing and working out? Tell me what's going on. Yeah, so pretty much it's just like a social distance practice. So we have 10 to a group. There's eight groups. So we have, you know, 10 people, give or take, in each group. Uh, we come in, they take our temperature, we wear masks, they give us hand soap, we wash up our hands. And then uh, we go down to the field, you know, not work, you know, got to stay six feet apart or whatever. And then we pretty much just do conditioning right now. Um, they recently just gave us ladders and a ball to work with. So we've been doing, after we've been doing conditioning, we've been doing track, liners, you know, the usual stuff we do during summer. And then after that, we would do uh, some some ladders, you know, some footwork, and then we'll do some ball work, like working on our plays and stuff like that. Yeah, no, there's no matter – even uh, the 400s, you, you still do those. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, just, we just did some – we did a 400 and two 200s yesterday, and that was – Yeah. That was insane. Yeah, some of the, the bigger guys, and maybe even you, probably wish COVID-19 could uh, get rid of those, but those are a Dallas style tradition. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's a tradition. I don't think the four hundreds are going anywhere. But no, they, no. I, I wish they did. 
And then what about, like, it's an interesting thing because two years ago, the summer was all about Folsom. Last summer yeah. was all about um, Aquinas. This summer yeah. started out all about North Shore. Now, mm -hmm. yeah, what are you guys focused on? You don't, I mean, it's a crazy situation. Yeah, honestly, it's crazy because I know two years ago, you know, like you said, Folsom, you know, it was a big game at home. You know, last year, Aquinas was another really big game at home. And this year, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't really know what's going to happen. We're honestly, we're just looking forward to, to getting into the weight room. Honestly, that's what we're just looking forward to. You know, we're not like say on really any team, you know, to key in on right now, but we're just, we're just excited and focused to keep going, you know, get into bigger groups, being yeah. with our teammates, you know what I mean? And, get into the weight room so we can start, you know, actually like lifting, you know, instead of just using like conditioning. So right. honestly, just, it's, it's. Go ahead. Just to play somebody. Crazy. So right now yeah. it's a unique situation. You're not watching a film on anybody. No. Yeah. We're just, we're just, we're just a lot. Last night we had a homework assignment just on ourselves, you know, coach gave us some plays to draw, draw up what we do, what we're supposed to do, what the linemen are supposed to do, what's the defense going to do. So we're just, we're just focus, focusing on, you know, ourselves and trying to, you know, practice and make perfect our game before we focus on anybody else. You know, yeah, it's a unique opportunity where literally mm -hmm. it can, as you said, you don't have to worry about Folsom. You don't have to worry about Aquinas. Yeah. You don't have to worry about North Shore. It's just making yourself better. You know, there's no opponent mm -hmm. and other than yourselves. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, what, have yeah. You, what are you working on to make yourself a better player? Yeah, so, you know, of course, with the conditioning, you know, you start off, you know, just trying to be first, be a lead. I'm trying to be a leader, you know, most importantly with my group, I only have 10 guys, but, you know, it's important to, to let them know, you know, who, who's going to be the leader, you know what I mean, and try to help, you know, everyone out as much as you can and, you know, just be kind of like someone they can look up to, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Because that. Yeah, there's guys uh, from JV that I don't even know that are on the team now. Uh, who, who's in your group? So I have my group. I have me, Nico Torres who's going to be a senior, uh, Derman, Luke Derman, who's going to be, um, you know, he's a quarterback. He's going to be a junior this year. Um, Journey McCoy, who's a, a freshman last year, he's going to be a sophomore this year. Um, and then we have all like the kickers, Blas Guerrero, uh, Will, and then we have all the team managers, Sorelli, Ridgeway, Marcel, all of them. Are you, are you making sure Sorelli stays in shape? <laughs> yeah, we're trying. I've been trying to push him. I said, it's really you gotta you gotta beat Ridgeway, you know. Everything we do, you gotta you gotta at least beat Ridgeway. So yeah, and that's how they'll find out who the top top manager is. And that's <laughs> kind of, there, there's no drones. I mean, uh, nope. you know, yeah, no. So it's, it's literally just the conditioning. But it must be nice just to be able to see people, to see the teammates. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, yeah. It's 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 been it's been really cool, you know, because when we were in quarantine before we were, even had practice, it was hard, you know seeing everyone on the team and stuff but now it's like it's it's cool and you don't realize how much you know you took for granted being out there on, on the summer workouts you know what I mean right well that's the thing probably before a summer workout was a hassle you know and, and yeah. now <laughs> exactly or to be able to it's a hassle I mean it's wonderful to be able to do that but then to be able yeah. to practice you know uh, mm -hmm. think about that how crazy it's the modern world that uh, practice is a privilege yeah it's crazy. You know, we used to think, you know, last year, I know my sophomore year too, even my freshman year, you know, some workouts, it's just, you know, it's, it just drains you, you know, before the day you're thinking like, Oh, I gotta, I gotta go, you know, and do this track and these liners and the jumping jacks and all that stuff. But now it's like, it's like, I, and I think it's, it's better because it's my senior year, you know, it's my last year, my last summer. So, you know, I'm taking, I'm trying to take it all in as much as I can, but it just, it's crazy how much I feel like I took for granted, you know, day loss, summer workout. Yeah, or anybody took anything for granted. Uh, yeah. Going to the movies, uh, uh, being yeah. able to go to a friend's house. Uh, yeah. Just the, the whole world. What I'm thinking for me, I'm a boring middle-aged man. I was looking forward to this season. <laughs> you know, I was excited yeah. for this. You yeah. must have even been more excited than me. I mean, yeah. it's, it's just strange. You know, something you, you yeah. thought would always be there might not mm -hmm. you know or it could, yeah. there's just many different is there any speculation or do you guys just uh just worry about what's in, uh, what's in front of you which is the uh, workouts yeah coach on ball is just insane pretty much ever since we got back to the field is just we're gonna focus in and, and worry about what we can control you know what i mean because we can't control any of the stuff that's going on so hopefully if we just follow directions you know 
wear our masks, wash our hands, everything. If we just keep following directions, then, you know, everything will play out the way we want to. And I think an advantage, I think uh, Del LaSalle's planning to be in on, on campus, correct? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. And that's a good thing because that's, that's the first step. There is nothing yeah. on a Friday night unless you're in school. And will that be a hybrid, or what? What can you tell me about uh, going to school? Do you know anything about yes. that? Yes, uh, honestly, I really don't. They haven't. They haven't contacted us about. I know some schools aren't going back in the fall, but as of right now, they haven't said anything to us. We know we're still going back normal time. Um, I don't know if it's going to be everyone, you know, at the campus at one time, or if they're going to break it up by grade. You know, I'm not really sure what they're going to do. But as of right now, we're going back to school on time. That's it. The, the bottom line, though, is at least you're going to be, be on campus in some form yeah. and that will allow the, the, the sports and the sports are tricky. And the one thing mm -hmm. I don't know if you realize you have, you're at an advantage, there is no school district. And so it's, it's going to yeah. be Del LaSalle's decision. And so yeah. it could be a matter of finding someone to play. You know, you know, they yeah. should call Jesuit because you were, you were on the yes. baseball team. Tell people yeah. about that. What was the mood? Uh, did you, did you think you'd get that baseball game in? You know, uh, tell people what we're talking yeah, about. So, you know, that, that was just a weird day because I know before the game, we, um, the buses didn't show up to our, to the, to our, uh, to our school. And so we were just sitting outside waiting for the bus, but it never came. So then we had to drive ourselves down there. And so, you know, it, it started off weird from then. And then we got to the field and, you know, coach jeans, um, was saying that, you know, with all the stuff going on, it was early stages, but this might be our last game and everything. So he, you know, he was try, just trying to, give all the seniors, you know, opportunity to, to maybe get in their last game of the, of their high school season, you know, or their last baseball game ever, you know? And so that game, that game was crazy. You know, we, we ended up losing, but I mean, it was a great game and uh, yeah. No, but that's the thing. When I talked to him, uh, that was it. Mm -hmm. I think he knew, and that's why he played the, the seniors more. Yeah. But I mean, it was a baby. Yeah. Wasn't, but there, there, was, there was a crowd. It was the day after Rudy Gobert. You guys might've played yeah. one of the last um, uh, sporting events with fans in mm -hmm. the in the country and yeah. uh yeah so the point is maybe you know as i said down the road we'll figure it out jesuit might be mm -hmm. on your schedule you know if you just got to find yeah. people you don't know whoever yeah whoever, whoever can play and and then what about there's some talk about maybe the spring i mean i mean that's not good but you would take that probably over not playing uh how do you feel about mm -hmm. if you play football in the spring uh, you know, I would, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't care. You know what I mean? As long as we get, you know, it's my, like I said, it's my last season. I just want to get, you know, at least a chance to play, you know, my last, my last season with the, you know, the, with the coaches, with the, with the teammates, you know, with the managers, with everyone. So right. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't mind pushing it back a little bit or whatever. Yeah. No, and, it all, and all that stuff will you know, sort itself out and, uh, yeah. And I think the big thing, you're watching like professional sports. Uh, it's going to be, yeah. who's going, I guess the NBA is going to go to Orlando. People can monitor yeah, more what, right, right there. And then baseball, mm -hmm. they finally figured, uh, was like, you, you following that? It was like, a, a, yeah. it, was, it was exactly, it was kind of about uh, COVID-19, but it was more a salary dispute. And then they, yeah. they, figured that, they figured that out, that they're going to start playing the end of July. So, yeah, it'll be just mm -hmm. interesting to see how that works. You just yeah. continue doing what you're doing. And then I think yeah. the CIF, July 20th, hopefully we've passed mm -hmm. the deadline. Uh, hopefully before that, maybe mid-July, you'll probably have some clarity. I'm trying to think. What, yeah. What, what, yeah. So, no. Yes. Yeah, so, so, that's good. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. That's why you're the team leader. You know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I should have you educate me. You know. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to think of what uh, – yeah, and then what else can you tell me? I'm trying to think what's what's interesting. Um, oh, I saw that you found people to throw to your your older brother and younger brother. Tell people about yeah. this. <laughs> I mean, uh, yes. Go ahead. Yeah, so I was you know went to my dad's house in Sacramento for Father's Day. You know, hanging out with my dad and my brothers were there as well. And uh, there he just recently moved into a new house, so he bought a house and uh, there's a park right next you know right down the street. And so my brothers were like. Um, you know, we got, you got to throw us some passes, you know, and I was like, okay, you know, it's good. So we went down to the park and I, you know, I threw my brother, you know, a deep, my older brother, deep pass. And it was, it was cool, you know, hanging out with them and be able to throw and stuff like that. It was cool. And, that, well, and then when you also give me some instruction to your, your, your younger brother. Yeah. Trying to, trying to get him to play, you know, he's, he doesn't, he doesn't really want to play right now. He's more, he wants to, you know, focus on basketball, but 
you know, I, I think he'll be a pretty good football player. So. Yeah, I know, Steve. He's young. How old is he? Yeah, he's 10. He's young. Yeah. He's still you know, young. He, so. Yeah, you tell, tell him if right now at least he should be a multi-sport person, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I've been telling him. Like, you know, you got to play as many sports as you can right now, you know. But we'll see. No, yeah, exactly. Uh, or just be able to play anything, you know. Uh, you know I, 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 <laughs> yeah. I did a Zoom with somebody who said, Brian, uh, I want to come with you to the next game. And I said, there are no games. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, there will be yeah. games. Um, I'm yeah. trying to think, what about this, like uh, – who else is it through Zooms? Uh, who, who are you communicating with uh, on the team? You know, because you probably are. You're the leader of the group. You might be the lead. Yeah. Uh, you are, you're the quarterback. So, by fault, yeah. you're the leader of the offense. So, yeah. uh, who, who are some guys that you're uh, counting on? Uh, we're definitely, you know, counting on uh, all of our seniors. You know, Lou. Lou Hearn's definitely a big part of both sides, you know, offense and defense for us. Uh, Zeke Berry. You know, it's going to be one of those guys that we're going to be, uh, you know, one of those guys we're depending on, you know, to step up this year big. It's going to be his junior year. Um, you know, John Puckett, he's, you know, he's pretty much controlled our line with Chad Tossie. You know what I mean? They, they've they both done a great job, um, you know, through Dale Sal uh, for the line aspect. And, um, you know, in our backfield, Nico Torres, Makai Northfleet, two, you know, newer running backs that are going to, you know, be able to, to start this year, which is going to be great. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I hope I'm not leaving anybody out, but, will, you know, will, all, of, all of our team. Will, will Perkins get some carries, or will he be mainly be a linebacker? You know, Perkins will definitely get some carries, too. Um, we have Greer, who's going to be a sophomore. He might, you know, he'll probably get some touches. Um, but, yeah, Trey Dean as well, you know, counting on, you know, some of those guys. No, it's it's, it's tough to get on the field at LSL. Yeah, it is. Trey, yeah, it's – you got to, you know, you have to really work hard and grind and, uh, you know, take no days off if you want to, um, you know, be on the field and start and compete. How about this? Like, this, what has this pandemic made you do more of? Or are you, you learning to do something that you weren't before? Is there, are there some books? Are there things you're watching what, or going places? What have you benefited from this pandemic? Uh, honestly, I think I've just been able to – I've just been having more time to work out, really. You know, just – Getting, you know, and like getting bigger, you know, eating more, you know, getting more, uh, more weight on me, you know, more muscle, just working out, you know, being able to be home and be outside, you know what I mean, for the majority of my day, which is, uh, it's pretty nice. So pretty much that, just working out and just trying to, you know, gain some weight and just, you know, be ready for the season. So that's the thing, because I remember talking with Mark Wine, and this would have been like yeah. six months ago. He was saying, people come up to him and say, man, I'm busy at work. I wish I had more time to work out. And then they yeah. flipped it on him and said, man, I have too much time to work out. But you yeah. have, taken, have taken advantage of this. And oh, yeah. are gonna come, or, okay, good. You're going to come out stronger. And that's the thing. When I yeah. see I, I, been, I did a couple Zooms with Henry Toa Toa, and he looked good. Yeah. But then I saw him in yeah. person, and he's down from like 240 to 228, all muscle. Yeah. So, like, you, yeah. look, you look very good right now. So, if I see yeah. you in person, you're good. Okay, that, that's exciting. Yeah, that's also sure. my talk to you. You're the leader. And with that, it doesn't matter yeah. with that hair, you look like a model, you know. In fact, you are. <laughs> Tell people what you do with Tavius. Yeah, Tavius, you know, I, I help him out. You know, I take some pictures in his uh, clothing company, Lavish Apparel. Um, and, yeah, we, we just have fun. You know, I take some pictures for him. He posts them. You know, I help him sometimes, you know, get some of his merch out. And, you know, it's, it's cool, though. It's fun. It's cool. Yeah, I, I like his tagline. He says, yes, I am the owner of uh, Lavish Apparel. Yeah. And no, you cannot get free merch. You know, yeah. <laughs> people don't understand that. When, uh, when you're a business, you're yeah. supposed to sell merchandise. And so yeah. uh, business is business. he's a businessman. Uh, well, what, do you know what you want to study in college? Uh, as of right now, I'm thinking of maybe doing criminal justice. Uh, I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm taking a class on it next year. My last, you know, during the school year, I'm taking a criminal justice class. So if I if I like it, then I think that's what I want to do. It's always sounded pretty interesting to me, though. So yeah, those particularly with what's going on. It, it, not, yeah, yeah. Not yet, what what's going on in the world? I mean, it started with yeah. the pandemic, and then it, it's near to your heart. I mean, the Black Lives yeah. Matter. Uh, yeah. How is that? How do, how has that affected you? Yeah, I mean, it's I mean, it's crazy what what some of the stuff that's going on right now, but I think that the protests, you know, people are doing, I think, it's, I think it's great for, you know, for Black Lives Matter, you know, trying to spread, you know, like 
spread information for the cause. And I think, I think it's, I think it's a really good idea. I think it's great. I mean, some something you know needs to to spark a change and i feel like that's definitely a, a way that we could maybe you know try to do that well yeah you want to be able to uh drive around and not worry how mm -hmm. is that in the back of your mind that you think uh the, the, poli the police what happens if the police pull me over yeah i mean i definitely think you have to keep that in consideration you know and if you ever get pulled over if i ever get pulled over you know you just got to be you know yourself and polite and like you know just you know, just kind of just follow orders. And I don't think, you know, you never know. Something could happen to you. You know, that, that's the scary part. That's the thing that's, you know, that's messed up, you know, with the, everything that's going on right now. You could be doing everything perfectly fine. And then, you know, something tragic could happen. So, I mean, I think it's it's scary, you know. But, I mean, you know, it's it's hard. It is. Well, I hope that this, yeah. this it finally gets to a point where, as I said, I, mm -hmm. I talked to, like, Ken Igu. I talked to Teron Ward, you know, just to be able mm -hmm. – to live your life and not have it in, in the back in the back of your mind. Um, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. Uh, that's we, we ended up on a very heavy subject there. Let me stop trying yeah. to think. Uh, where uh, where else we should lead? Uh, you mentioned the criminal uh, justice. Uh, who teaches that at De La Salle? Uh, so I know Mr. Aquino teaches it at De La Salle, and then I think there's another class. I'm not sure if it's at De La Salle. I don't know who teaches it, but I think there's two teachers for that. So okay. Mr. Aquino is one of them, though, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, and that's it. And maybe looking at, uh, away from football, uh, what are a few mm -hmm. teachers at De La Salle that have stuck out over the first three years? Um, let, me, let me think about this. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of my teachers were, were coaches, you know, so it's that's just okay. kind of yeah, hard well, to – That's okay because people – talk about them because people think of them as coaches and they're teachers. Uh, yeah. Talk about them. Yeah, I had, I had BD my freshman and my sophomore year for English. And he's, you know, he's great. I've never, I've never had him as a coach, but uh, as a teacher, you know, he's, he's a great teacher. I loved it. You know, his class was, was cool and I liked it a lot. Uh, let me think. I had uh, Dr. Allen Baugh, Coach Allen Baugh's sister as one of my teachers. She was cool, you know, um, as a teacher, she was really nice. Um, trying to think. Mr. Clark, my chemistry teacher, I had him freshman year too. You know, and I got to have him my uh, junior year for chemistry, which is really cool. He's a great teacher. Uh, Ms. Dixon, I love Ms. Dixon, my math teacher, freshman, sophomore year. Uh, yeah, those are some probably the most teachers that probably stick out to me. Yeah. Oh, and then with, yeah, with BD, that's right. You would have skipped him on the football field. Uh, you, you, yeah. Went, yeah, you, you went from freshman and then, uh, to varsity, you know. Yeah. So when, when did you think that was going to be a possibility? Oh man, I honestly, I, I I was hoping to to not play JV coming to Dale South because I heard you know like how how hard it is with the running and the conditioning and I I heard I heard about it and I was like man I don't know if I want to you know <laughs> I want to do that but um just I know my freshman year uh, if I just kept working hard and everything I just you know a spot would open up for me like it did so I just was you know I never really focused on that I just tried to work hard and maybe, you know, the opportunity will come, and it did, so it was, it was cool. Yeah, and we, we talked about it last time. It's a good story. The opportunity came as number 90. Yeah. You know, uh, tell people that didn't see that first one, that was a neat moment. Uh, tell them again what, what happened there. Well, yeah, so I, I got pulled up, you know, for a varsity game. It was before playoffs. It was the last um, home season game. It was the very last game. I think it was senior night as well. Um, you know, it was uh, – the fourth quarter, you know, wearing number 90, I come into the game, which I was kind of, I was kind of shocked. I didn't think Coach Allen Ball would let me, you know, let me, let me, let me in the game, you know, especially just being a freshman playing in a varsity game. It was like I was playing a video game. Like there's so many people, you know, you don't really know what to focus on. And we had a couple plays and then we got like inside close to the 20 yard line and then we caught a power pass. And then I, you know, I rolled out to the left and I, you know, I found Jack Powers, you know, a great receiver um you know wide open and then toward the middle of the field in the end zone and I just I, I didn't really know I didn't know what else to do I just, I just threw it to him and uh he caught it you know and it was it was a great it was it was really cool it was, oh it was a special moment you know as I said yeah. for a freshman to do that and the other thing yeah. uh, uh, I don't know if you notice when I post do you know about the De La Salle vault I call it the DLS 151 vault that's where I find all, everything old because there is nothing mm. new so I go back and I'm yeah. looking at like the summer of 18 and I'm gonna in a yeah. couple of days. I'll post a video, and it's you 
but you look mm-hmm. much younger. Of course you do. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, talk about that. The summer of 18, because that was the Folsom summer. And I mean, that's mm-hmm. crazy. Uh, that was going to be your first start. Talk about what was yeah. going on in the summer of 18. Man, I, I was, you know, I was thinking about a lot of different things. You know, my, it's my first varsity summer. You know, it's it's going to be my first start, and it's going to be – it's going to depend on whether we go to open state, you know, play for an open state championship or not. So, <clears throat> I mean, it was crazy. Nothing really changed, though, you know what I mean? You just got to – you just got to keep, you know, working hard. And, you know, the rest – the rest will follow, you know what I mean? That's what Coach Allen Ball – and a lot of the seniors – we had a great senior leadership that year that really, like, took me in under their wing, and they, like they, – they would talk to me you know, during the summer before our game and just make sure I was just, you know, calm and I knew what I was doing. And, it, you know, they, they made it easy for me. So I, I can't really, you know, take all the credit because, I, you know, they made it the game so much easier. Coach Omba, all the coaches, Coach P, they made it so much easier for me to just to just fo- focus on what I need to do. And then, you know, the, the points will, be, you know, end up on the board. That's right. Like Henry, Bosky, Jossie, yeah. Bo, yeah. Gunner. Bo. Well, yeah. Wow. That's right. Well, I remember that. Yeah. I was doing some interviews with them, and then I included yeah. you. It was yeah. a bunch, a bunch uh, and I think um, uh, Shamar and Kobe were part of it Tavious. as juniors. Yeah, but, but no, that, yeah, that was it. And, and yeah. I remember that. I wanted to keep it on the down low, where, uh, yeah. uh, where, where I didn't want full slate. They probably knew it was going to be you, but I, you know, yeah. I just wanted to have as much uh, uh, surprise as possible. But that is – so you did know the significance that it was – your first game ever was the Northern California Championship? Yeah, I, I, I knew that for sure. People would, you know, friends, you know, family, they would always remind me, you know, even players, you know. So I knew what was, you know, what was at, you know, at risk, you know, losing that game. And I just, you know, I didn't want to do it, especially for the seniors, you know, being their last their last season, you know, their last first game on, you know, on Owen Owens Field. And, you know, you just got to do it, do it for them and work hard for them. And we did. Yeah, definitely. And then – um I think what, what else to talk about? There's so much. I think it's just fun for me, you know, where we don't hang out, but we're friends. Yeah. It's neat that yeah. you want to talk to me. You know, I, yeah. I, I, it, it, that makes me feel great because I'm basically, yeah. I'm like, I could be boring. You know, I'm not, well, yeah. like I said, I'm just a regular middle-aged guy. And the fact yeah. that it makes me feel good, you know, and that's why for I'm sure. hopeful. You know, go ahead, what you said? For sure, yeah. No, yeah, so, yeah, so I'm trying to think. So I'm hopeful <laughs> for the season. For me, as I said, it's you're the ones playing, but I know a lot of people, so it's like, man, yeah. And so that'll work itself out, you know. We can't control yeah. that. And I'm trying to think, well, maybe, maybe we just wrap up, and then because we always can do more. Is there, yeah, is, is there anything that you would like like to add? Uh, no, I just want to say, you know, thank you for uh, you know wanting to talk and everything. I really appreciate it. It's always a pleasure talking to you. Oh wow! That, that made my made my night. Let me I'll hit yep. the pause here, and then we'll talk to you a tiny bit afterwards. This, this is very good. Cool. Thank you, Dorian. Yeah.